I'm at my buddy Riley's house. Oh, what is that? So last night I was just at my buddy Jason's wedding, and so I'm in Sacramento, and it was a really fun wedding. We we're pretty late though, and these other guys are still crashed out. Look at these guys. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> I see you found the snake room. Well, so, so he just woke up in time. I'm all set up in his snake room here, ready to film. And I'm, I'm glad he woke up, because I, I was just about to start doing all this vlogging without him. And But you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and do what I was gonna do before he woke up, because I don't think he's, I don't think he's actually awake yet. That guy's, that guy's definitely not awake yet. I had to share, I had to share the uh, bed with that guy last night. Can you believe that? Look, look at the size of that guy. So Riley, Riley is lucky enough to live in front of a, good morning. Riley is lucky enough to live, check out where I live. So I'm, I'm gonna walk out his front gate right now. And you're gonna see why I'm very jealous. Here we are standing in front of Riley's place. And right over there, a 1940s ice cream parlor. We're having breakfast there. We're gonna film an episode of Triple B TV here at Riley's Place and other Snakes of Friends, so hopefully you guys can go and check that out. But I wanted to show you, this This is, we're gonna show you right now some animals that are not gonna make it onto Triple B TV because they're not snakes and it's a strictly snake channel. Strict! No, I'm just kidding. Edit it, edit it, edit it. Yeah, we're gonna edit Chris out completely. If you guys, if you guys don't remember Chris, so Chris, Chris, Chris was in one of my very, very first attempts at vlogging, even before I had a vlog channel. So Chris already broke the... Uh... No, no, there's a little pop rivet right here. It's just a little plastic rivet. It's somewhere here. Well, how did it break? It didn't. It popped this. I, when I grabbed it, I went like this. So one side came out. Oh, it... so you grabbed it and it broke. Don't day, no. <laughs> you should go watch the, my birthday camping trip. I'll put the link for the uh, video right here. And... <laughs> Look, there, there he is again. That's one of my best friends. I never learned how to read. But what I really wanted to show you was the animal that I'm about to pull out of this cage right here. Maybe unsuccessfully, because it's very densely, uh, it's, it's the, the vegetation is dense in the cage, so I, I have a, oh, thanks, Riley. I have two hands now. And I'm gonna use this other hand to steady myself right here. As I reach in with the other hand, putting two hands in there just doesn't seem ideal. I want to be very gentle with this animal because there's something really special about it. Well, there's something really special about most animals, I suppose, but... Feel free to rip it apart, dude. Oh, I can rip it apart? Yeah. I just put it together yesterday. It's all just sort of propped in there, so whatever works. Come here, please. I forgot to tell you guys, I, I fried that guy up last night. He was easy. There we go, there we go. Got it. Woo. Look at that. That is a male crested <coughs> gecko. Look at the size of this guy. He is, I mean, I don't know if the camera is really picking up his, the size of his, look at how big his head is. This, this is the biggest crested gecko I've ever seen. I don't know about you guys. Leave a comment down below if you've seen a crested gecko, a male, bigger than this crested gecko right here. He's, and look, he's still got his tail. His whole original tail. That, that Hold is on. something. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> there, there are things happening here. I'm joking. That, I, that I'm not gonna put on camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's an edit, right? I'm sorry. What a cool little dude, though. Ooh, lick, come on, lick the eye, lick the eye, get the eye. Oh, there you go, yeah. Gotta get that eye. Stay hydrated. Stay moisturized. It's good for you. And Chris, Chris also knows how to stay moisturized. Chris, uh, when he gets out of the shower, he puts on he puts on lotion. I stay hydrated because it's, it's natural. <laughs> but, the but the geckos don't put moisture on. We don't, they don't hold lotion. They don't put lotion on, so it's not natural. Can I can I hold him real quick? Oh, look at him cliffing. Yeah, he's doing awesome. Sylvester Stallone did? Yeah. No, no, we're cool. Don't go back deep in there. I got big hands, okay? Oh, he's doing it again. He's fast, man. I got him. 
Oh, well, just come here. There we go. Yeah, I just stole you. But now you're holding on to stuff with your feet. Oh, yeah, that tail acts like another finger, by the way. Hold on, bro. <laughs> another finger. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Look at those hands. Zeppelin. <laughs> Speaking of Zeppelin, the, if you watched the vlog a few days ago when we went camping with uh, my cousin, we found all kinds of cool stuff, all kinds of newts and rattlesnake and all kinds of cool stuff we were out there. I, I put some Jimi Hendrix on for Music Monday and it I wasn't able to keep it on. Because to date, Led Zeppelin and Jimi Hendrix can't put that on Music Monday or the, the YouTube won't let me put the video up at all. It's interesting, just a couple artists are the... Okay. I maybe got up too early, but the point is, so this, this guy, this guy bloomed like a flower in the bed last night, okay? <laughs> What'd I do? Oh, I forgot to turn this thing down. Everything's gonna be way too loud. It's alright, I'll fix it right now. Um, yeah, so he bloomed, so he was, he, when we first went to bed, he was all nice and tight and curled up in his little bud, just like, uh, You know, like like nice I and respectful you, on his spoon. his side of the bed, and then some point in the middle of the night, just like he just <laughs> and just you know came out of his space, and I all of a sudden get an elbow in my in my eye, and like I let's go somewhere else. <laughs> I was wondering how I got this rash all of a sudden. So Riley's a. Uh, A very experienced uh, keeper. He used to be the. If you didn't know, if you don't know Riley already, he used to be zookeeper down in Santa Barbara before he moved up here to Sacramento. Reptile zookeeper, the zoo, the reptile keeper at the Santa Barbara Zoo. That's what I'm trying to say. He works a lot with carpet pythons, and he's got crested geckos apparently all over the place. And this is his. Uh, this is his reptile room. He's got it. He's got it packed in here. He's doing. He's doing a lot that he can with the space. Ooh, and the Savannah monitor. So this, ladies and gentlemen is Reptar. He's awesome. Check him out. If you guys watch the channel, if you watch every single vlog upload, congratulations and thank you. But that means you've also seen Reptar before. But here he is again. Reptar! Reptar! Look at that tongue. <laughs> so cool. Reptar. Dude, the tongue is epic. It doesn't stop either. Dude, one of my favorite things about snakes is that they, the, the tongue action. But lizards have way gnarlier tongues. <laughs> I think I might have a little bit of rodent on my hand or something. He was definitely thinking about. Was he? He was thinking about my finger there for a second. Maybe he, not. He does that. He takes a little longer to to turn his feeding response off. But yeah, he's he's curious. He's always thinking. <laughs> well, taking chances. That's what life's about, right? Uh, how you feel about film trouble BTV? Let's do it, man. Let's do it. All right. Uh, that's what I like to hear. Wake up for. Let's go. We're yeah. gonna we're gonna take a break from the vlog. We're gonna film Triple B TV. It may be live right now. I've lost track of where I am in time and space when it comes to uploading videos and what's come coming next and what came first. And if it hasn't aired already, it will be airing soon. Link. Reptar. We ran away. Bravely. <laughs> Valiantly. <laughs> Brave Sir Robin. Brave Sir Robin. <laughs> oh, so this is where the magic happens. Alright, so we just felt. Fog. <laughs> so we just finished filming Triple B TV, and now we're going to film the B roll for Triple B TV. And I'm going to do something I've never done before, and I'm going to go ahead and put the B-roll for Triple B TV here on the vlog and put it to music and make it different because in Triple B TV it's going to be where we're talking about the snakes, cutting the clips of the snakes, but I'm just going to try and take this B-roll and do a completely different edit on it and put some music in with it and do one of those things and see what happens. I've never done it before. We'll give it a try. If you, hopefully you guys like it. And then we're going to get ice cream. Yeah! <laughs> ah, dude. Handmade there since 1947. It's, it's so good. It's like Depression era, so when you go in there, like, If you want to get food too, you'll order like a like a ham and cheese sandwich or something like that, and it's like it's as bare bones plain ham and cheese as you get. Like it's 
they took a slice of the pass and literally kept it the same there. It's so freaking cool. Well, in that case, I'm gonna have to get myself a shake. I think I'll get, I'll get a shake. That's a 1940s thing to do, too, right? Just get an ice cream shake. Mm, ham sandwich and ice cream shake, here we come. It's as close to the pass as you can get. All right, dog, we're ready for some snakes, Holmes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, like, thinking about, like, ice cream over here, like, like a fat kid, like, mm, yeah, ice cream, that time we're good by now. Guys, ready for this? Yeah, ready for this. Oh, there's lots of people now. I'm not sure. I know I saw it. That's funny. Oh man, that was that was phenomenal. That was a great meal. I'm feeling really good about that. But I'm beat, tired, need to hit the road. I've got a wife at home with some very unruly boys at the moment, so the sooner I get home the better. So gentlemen. Yes. It's been a pleasure. It's been real. It's been an honor. Did anything you'd like to see before we leave? See the say the say to the, the people? Uh you should all get carpet pythons. They're not as bad as people have told you. Trust me, they're really cool. Do what it is that you do. And that's it. That's, that's, <laughs> all, that's all I got. <laughs> uh, he's got he's got so much more to give than that. It's uh we're gonna we're gonna have to have a whole entire Chris episode. No, not today. We need like a series, like a uh, <laughs> like a like a mini series, like a spin-off. You know, hit up HBO. Just 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 to get started. I gotta go home. Yeah, exactly. Bye. <laughs> Well, I've got a long way to go, so I figured we're shooting a straight shot, straight as an arrow all the way up to five. Might as well jump in and do a little bit of a uh, Cusco uncut. What do you guys think? All right, let's make it happen. Just wanted to talk about how really excited I am about everything that's happening, man. I mean, it's been a busy, busy last few days. You know, I've seen my brothers and my buddies at the wedding and everything, getting to see those guys I haven't seen them in like, you know, in years. It was awesome to kick back and then getting to have one of my really older friends, one of my old best friends, meet up with one of my newer friends, Riley, and have those guys get along so well and that, that was good times. And I'm, I'm looking forward to filming so many more episodes of Snakes with Friends for Triple B TV. It's like, that's, those are some of my favorite things to film is just, that's what it's about, get together, hang out with a friend, check out the snakes and Ugh, man, I'm, I'm really doing what I want to be doing right now, and it's freaking awesome. And it's it's hard. It's work. It's work. I I, I basically haven't stopped moving except to sleep. I, when I fall asleep, it's because I'm still trying to go forward, but it's like my body says, no, you're done, Brian. Stop. You're going to sleep. You can wake up later and finish that. And that's what I do. I mean, the other day I woke up at 2 in the morning, started getting to work on something. I had this idea and burned it in my head, and I was working on it, but then I fell asleep, and woke up the first thing I was like yeah get this thing going man cuz uh, there's so many cool things we got going for guys it's like oh man I can taste it, it tastes good
And on that same token, I mean, Hill, Hill and the boys are at home. I miss those guys, man. I, I don't like being gone from them for very long. It's like those are my, those are my folks. Those are my people. Those are my family. I miss them. I'm going home now to them as fast as I can, well, safely. And you know, she's she had a rough time. I, I would have liked for them to be able to come to the wedding, but they, had, you know, Leia's already been to Hawaii and up and down the state. She's just barely two months old, so that on top of the whole family end up getting pretty sick you know they're they're all sick at home right now so i'm glad that they didn't come along and feeling miserable on the road so but uh, my heart is full my plate is full but i'm still very very hungry uh, i it's a tough balance it's a, it's a balance being on the road wanted to be home doing what I, I'm loving doing so it's like I'm, I know I'm going down the right path I, I can feel it deep in my soul that I'm going right down the right path so <sighs> yeah feels good good times guys let's get home